Have you ever had buyer's regrets? What is buyer's regrets? You go to the store, you spend a ridiculous amount of money on that item in the store, it looked sparkly, it looked fantastic, it made you feel good in the moment. And then only to take it home, try it on, it's not as good as you think it was and you prefer keeping the money and you take it back and you get your money back. That's buyer's regret. And sometimes the dumper has dumper's regret. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Does your dumper have second thoughts? And what does that mean? Did the dumper make the right choice to break up with you? This is what we're going to get into today. But before I do, welcome back to The Law Fix. It's Nick, as always, doing my best to get you through your breakups as easily and as healthily as I can. Guys, if you could do me a huge favor and come and give me a follow on Instagram. I've just started there and it is so hard to get established on a new, on a new platform. If you hit the link below in the description, that will take you to all of my socials, including my one-to-one coaching services. Should you need my help with your personal heartbreak situation, just tap it and book yourself in. But also there is my free Facebook group, my Spotify, Spotify podcast where I get into the longer discussions with people in the industry and my Instagram. So go and check it out. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Breaking up is never easy, but what happens when the one who initiates the breakup suddenly finds themselves filled with regret? It's a scenario many of us have experienced or witnessed. Maybe you were the one who ended things, convinced it was the right decision, or perhaps you were the one on the receiving end blindsided by the sudden change of heart. Either way, when the dumper begins to feel regret, it can lead to a whirlwind of emotions and questions. I've had many dumpers book one-to-one coaching sessions with me and I've heard the following many times from many different dumpers. I thought breaking up with my ex was the best choice at the time, but afterwards I couldn't shake this feeling of emptiness. I realized I made a mistake. Let me translate that for you. They spent a lot of time with you. And maybe they broke up broke up with you out of protest, just out of pure anger. And it was, quote unquote, a fake breakup because you kept having the same argument over and over again. They still love you, but they couldn't find a resolution. They feel unheard. They don't feel that you were paying attention. And the only other course of action they had was to say, fuck this, I'm done, I need to be away from you right now. And if that is the case for many people, a quick conversation and kissing and make up and reaffirming that connection with each other and making a promise, a contract with each other that, hey, I'm going to do better and B, you're going to do better and we're going to work together. It's me and you versus the problem. I don't want it to be me versus you. A lot of time that just works. But maybe it's something a little bit deeper. Maybe it's something a little bit more terminal and they've emotionally detached. They can still experience regret. They spent a lot of time with you. They spent many years with you trying to understand you and trying to learning how you, learning, to, learning how you function. And you've done the same for them. There is comfort in familiarity, but there's also contempt in familiarity so it's a double-edged sword it can work for you it can work against you so it is super important to know and understand in the first place why the breakup happened what were the underlying issues because my friends regretting a breakup doesn't guarantee reconciliation they could be going through a thousand different scenarios and maybe some of them lead back to you but they might just get to that point where they're thinking, oh, we've had this conversation so many times. I've tried to speak to them so many times. They don't listen. They just fight me all the time. They don't want to take responsibility. I'm trying to do X, Y, and Z. That's a very real possibility and they may just be done. But if they are having second thoughts, what do you do about it? What is your game plan? The game plan is the same as always. You sit back, You work on yourself, you take stock of the situation, you use this as an opportunity to understand your wants, needs and feelings and you leave them alone. You give them the gift of silence, you give them all the freedom and silence that they can handle because if they are to come back, they need to understand a few things. That one, you listened and you know how to back off, you know how to give space. That's going to show them that you are capable of at least learning to listen 
to understand not to respond because a lot of the time especially if it's a woman that's leaving and this can happen with men as well but with women more than men essentially they need to feel heard and if they don't feel heard they won't feel emotionally safe if they don't feel emotionally safe they will leave and this can happen for men as well but more so with women so it's very very important to step back and do nothing or more to the point not do nothing do something else do something for you and learn about you and learn about how this could be better in the future. After a breakup, emotions can be a roller coaster and it's natural to wonder if your ex is experiencing second thoughts. Regret and doubt are common emotions during this period. If your ex is going through moments of questioning their decision, it doesn't necessarily mean they made a bad choice. Maybe they were right. Maybe this was meant to end and guys, some relationships are just meant to end. Some people come into your life at that time of when you needed them and when you needed needed to learn that lesson so either way this is going to be a learning opportunity for you whether they come back or not you are going to learn a lesson the emotions here are complex and individuals might oscillate between confidence in their decision and moments of uncertainty so if your ex did reach out you have to question are they just reaching out because they feel scared and anxious or do they actually really want to give this a second shot because trust me my friends i've had a lot of dumpers on the phone to me saying look i regret this i've i i, I want a second chance but they're not they're not responding to me and a lot of the time it's just because they're feeling anxious and their feeding brain is freaking them out and it's saying hey go back to where you last felt safe it was better there we don't like this even if it's with a rebound because if they are with a rebound or a monkey branch it's not you it might feel okay for a little bit doesn't mean it's going to replace you doesn't mean it's going to feel the same and they're not going to get the same sense of safety and security as they had with you so always have the mindset as the dumpy that you have the advantage here you get to step back and just watch what's happening on the on the play field here and in the meantime you're gathering your thoughts your resources to level up and be better because if they come back they will need to see the improved version of you so your ex may have a bit of buyer's remorse or dumper's remorse they may be thinking oh my god i i just did this thing but i want my old way back i want my old life back i thought this new way this new pathway was better it was shinier the grass was greener but as the cliche saying goes the grass is greener where you water it and they may want to come back and water it but understand their reasonings do they genuinely want to reconcile with you and they had genuine second thoughts or have they just shit the bed and their anxiety is at 400 percent that's the question you must ask and i get that your anxiety is probably at at a thousand percent right now and that's okay so you must weigh up these options and if they have second thoughts okay doesn't mean it's the right decision to take them back sometimes the dumper sees things the dumpy can't and they can do you a big favor because trust me guys most reconciliations just don't work out because the old relationship is resurrected the same mistakes are made and you're back on the phone to me in a breakup coaching session trying to figure this out and although i am very successful at helping many many people recover from their breakups it still sucks and it's still very painful so ask yourself is it really worth it or have they done you a favor and you're learning the lessons of the breakup that's all i've got for today thank you for listening you are enough you will be okay and if you like today's video hit like subscribe and share and come and check out everything else on the socials in the link below and i'd really appreciate it and be honored and privileged if you come join my facebook group or you gave me a like on instagram or you booked a one-to-one -one coaching session i'll see you there and i'll see you on the other side